part three to May 15th. Um, now this will be the last one, at least for the moment. But um, as we were talking about that one, um, Kelsey remembered something that we were talking about the other day when we were doing our, I think, was that our first newlywed Bible study? Is that what that was? Yeah, so what were we going to say? Um, just with the abiding thing, since that's been kind of the main thing oh, yeah. that God's been really teaching us, um, that he's the life giver and everything that's born of him or everything that um, abides in him produces and reproduces life. And that, um, you know, just to look at the things in our lives that um, we need a touch of life or we need um, regeneration to make sure that we've submitted that, that part of our hearts or minds to him as a life giver. And just to remember, um, because he gave you that scripture about the vine and how we can do nothing apart from him, yeah. um, that he is the source of all life. And so it, his heart, like he was really saying that his heart is more... Not that like, oh, if you separate from me or if you do something and I cast you away, like you're going to be burned. But the point is, is he said that the, the world was destroyed the first time with water, but the second time with fire. And so it's just going to be his word manifesting that everything that is not apart from him will produce death. And so he's saying like, my heart is for you to have life and life more abundantly. So come to me that you would have life. Stay attached to me. Stay abiding in me and life will just be produced um, so, like, that was just a message of hope that we don't have to fear being cast out. We don't have to fear all those different things. But just know that nothing apart from him can produce life. Amen. That's really good. And, um, yeah, the other thing I think that we were also talking about is a lot of time when we're in the church, the church will talk about the fact that, you know, if you don't, uh, if you don't get your life straight, if you don't get cleaned up and all this other stuff, that, uh, that you're going to hell, which technically that that is true but so often we focus on the fact that people are going to hell that we don't actually tell people how they can live a life fruitfully how they can live a life of abundance um, without having to worry about you know hell over the corner all the time because if God wanted you worried about hell over uh, hell on the corner all the time he really would you wouldn't be living a life of, of abundance you'd be li living a life of slavery and, fear. and you are no longer a servant he now calls you a friend so a friend gets to participate in the life that is amazing so god bless you guys have a great day we are going to we are so excited finishing this drive finishing a book ted decker is amazing we're reading a book called saint showdown is also a good one god bless you guys Peace.